A serenade for the scientists on a stage overlooking Lake Constance. Moments like these make it easier for the Nobel Prize winners and young researchers here to get to know each other. Physicist Gabriela Barreto Lemos comes from Brazil. She is currently working at the Vienna Center for Quantum Science and Technology. Somehow an honor and also a privilege to see how, um, how this world is, how this scientific, academic, high rank world is, especially being from Brazil. This is an enormous privilege to have access to this world. For five days, that world is holding lectures and seminars in Lindau. Nobel Prize winners talk about their experiences as researchers and how their lives changed post-prize. For many of the young scientists, a Nobel Prize is the ultimate goal. But at this year's meeting, another topic is on most people's minds, Britain's decision to leave the European Union. So this will be a financial problem for the universities because they'll, they might possibly, depending on negotiations, miss out on access to the European science funding, which would be a problem for many of my colleagues. Young people aren't the only ones worried about the Brexit. Science is an international um, endeavor, and anything that impedes the kind of interactions between scientists that, who may be from different countries, anything that impedes that interaction is going to slow down the progress of science. But the main focus of the meeting is still on physics, this year's theme. Gabriela Lemos talks about her work. Ever since mega concerns like Google have set their sights on quantum computing, billions have been pouring into research on quantum physics. But as the only woman on the panel, Lemos has another message as well. I hope that in, I don't know, 30 years, this whole panel will be more diverse in origin and gender. Um, I think we are transitioning. You see in the, in the room there were many people from different places, and different colors and different gender and I think this is really exciting. The young scientists get a chance to dine with their idols. Exchange between young and established researchers is the whole point of the Lindau meeting. At a gala dinner, the newcomers can ask the old hands questions, even if they aren't sitting right next to a laureate. Gabriela Lemos doesn't let that spoil her evening. She has more luck the next day, enjoying FaceTime with one of her role models. What she wants to know from physicist William Phillips is how to manage a career and a family at the same time. The young people are the future of, of science. If we expect to make progress, to learn the, about the incredible mysteries that we're facing today, then it's going to be these young people that do that. And so, for me, anything that I can do to, uh, to help them along is great. On her way to the next event on the program. Lemos enjoys getting to know so many other young scientists from around the globe. Science is not just the discovery of a world that's there, but it's a different, it's a way that we perceive our world. And if we have different looks, different people coming from different places, they will look at the world differently and more creative models can arise. The meeting with Nobel Prize winners on Lake Constance has been an annual event for 66 years now. Next year, the focus turns to chemistry.